to meet uh, its uh, 2030 vision, Kenya may have to evaluate the role of debt in its development financing and overall debt management strategy. Joining us now from Nairobi to discuss debt management in Kenya is Kiama Kiara, Programs Coordinator at the Kenya Debt Relief uh, Network. Kiama, thank you for your time. Let's begin by talking perhaps at, uh, about the uh, issues that you have identified in two surveys uh, that you conducted. What have you found out in terms of uh, the country's overall debt management strategy? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have commissioned two studies, one on foreign debt, uh, which we commenced on, uh, in 2011 and concluded, and another has been on domestic debt. Uh, these two studies are related in the sense that we are trying to look at uh, the overall uh, debt uh, scenario in the country. And the two studies point out two, two interesting things. One is, uh, over a decade or so, the share of the foreign debt within the total public debt uh, stock has been declining, whereas the share of domestic debt within the same public debt stock has been increasing, and increasing actually at, a, at quite a higher rate. So those are the two key findings that these two studies have pointed our way. Yeah, but why did you embark on the two studies in the first place? Because overall you'd expect that the government would have a debt management strategy and Kenya has never been among those countries cited as, as having an unsustainable debt burden, particularly if you consider that those countries that were in such a situation uh, underwent very successful uh, debt rehabilitation programs with the help of the World Bank, with the help of the IMF in the HIPC uh, processes. Uh, well, our consideration and our main point of departure in commencing on these two studies was informed by an aggregate of a, by an aggregate of a couple of uh, issues. One is that Kenya uh, just uh, put across its Vision 2030, which is a national government's blueprint for development for the country. Mm -hmm. And then, in the past couple of years, uh, ending with uh, the promulgation of the new constitution, Kenya is starting to realize a new uh, uh, governance uh, framework, which is both for the politics and for the economy and many other social pillars. Mm -hmm. From that, and from the international context of that Kenya, within its debt management process, is deemed to be sustainable as per the World Bank IMF debt sustainability analysis. Yeah. We tried to draw a correlation to the rising debt levels and what that meant for investment in especially social infrastructure pillars and within a long term would these actually hold within the key principles of moving Kenya into a middle income country by 2030. Yeah, but uh, Kiara, the government could counter argue and say they are elected by the people. They have a process that's accountable and uh, to the citizens of Kenya in terms of how they come up with their budget and the overall uh, management of that budget. You're suggesting in part that there is no transparency in the way the government is going about uh, managing the debt strategy. Surely the government could counter argue successfully that in, in fact their processes are uh, transparent. Uh, well, actually on the converse, uh, what we are suggesting from the Kenya Debt Relief Network is that the government has this very robust policy about how it wants to take the national development forward. But there are some specific issues that of essence must be addressed. The one, as per the macroeconomic frameworks and measures of, say, the World Bank or the IMF, mm. the Kenyan debt is deemed to be sustainable. Right. But when it comes to the question of how much resource we are putting across for social development infrastructure, this might be beat the purpose of the kind of vision the government has. And out of this, what we found is that the government does have a, a reformed debt management department and the way right. that it's been doing business around debt management is, is quite reformist in a big sense. Yeah. But there comes in another critical question. The new constitution, the new Kenyan constitution, anchors constitutionally the whole realm and framework of citizenly participation sure. across the public finance management. And so certainly the whole issue of debt 
becomes one critical issue that needs to be unpacked so that it can be addressed in terms of setting a feasible ground in the going forward. Yeah, you, by commissioning these studies and also by organizing the workshop that you are organizing, in part what you are saying is that the government's policies are not sustainable. They are coming up with these budgets that are resulting in the growth of the budget deficit and debt, while at the same time unable to invest in ventures that, are, that, that enable a sustainable uh, investment of the nation's uh, s s s total budget uh, revenues? Well, certainly. And our studies point out to a couple of key recommendations. That one, the government needs to come up with a very, very clear and robust debt management policy, yeah. which actually needs to be anchored within the Constitution. Then secondly, uh, the government needs to have a very direct correlation between borrowing, which in sense is creation of debt, yeah. and how this relates to actually domestic resource mobilization. Are you saying because they are not being aware of that? Are you saying they are not aware of that? Uh, they are aware of that in terms of how they present it. Yeah. But we seem to see a, a disconnect in the sense that uh, when we have a very high debt level, when we have a ballooning domestic debt uh, level, it has implications for crowding out domestic investors, making borrowing highly expensive. Mm. And this will force us maybe to go to the international market. Mm. And once we do that, maybe at very non-consensual rates, it means that the debt continues to balloon, and this is a big challenge for the deficit in terms of the budget outlays that government has for infrastructure development. And over, say, the past five years, this has been increasing year in, year out. And so it's one of those wake-up calls we are trying to send through to the government. Right. That, look, you may have a right vision and a right strategy for development, yeah. but these are some key pillars and considerations that we need to put in a more uh, tangible and sustainable mechanism. Are they listening? Uh, well, certainly government is listening and we have been having consultations with government. The development partners are also interested in the issue. Uh, parliament, especially because it has a very strong oversight role within the new constitutional dispensation, is very keen about getting recommendations and citizenly input into the budget making cycle. And certainly the World Bank and the IMF are interested in this issue. They just released the Kenya Debt Sustainability Analysis analysis report last week, which actually shows they are making a consideration for this broad increment in the domestic debt because of the sort of implications it might have in the long term, which could come to challenge the macroeconomic fundamentals that are supposed to inform sustained growth as per their projections.